we're not even one week into December yet. And as we've been talking about, we could see the first snowfall in East Tennessee as early as tonight. The National Weather Service issued a winter weather advisory for parts of Cock, Blunt, Sevier and Monroe counties. 10 News reporter Ryan Connors traveled to the mountains today and spoke with members of Sevier County's Highway Department team about how they are preparing for tonight's snow. Ryan. Brittany Robin, Sevier County says that this year's First snow is a little bit earlier than usual, but are ready to make sure that the night snow doesn't turn into an icy and dangerous situation. On nights when some flurries are expected, there's crews preparing for their big moment. The Sevier County Highway Department has been put on alert, getting their plows and salt units ready. Typically, while it's coming down, we plow and try to keep them clean. Then once it slows down, we will start salting them to keep it from freezing. The National Weather Service has a winter weather advisory for areas that are above 2,500 feet in Cock, Blunt, Sevier, and Monroe counties. While the mountains are expected to get the snow, Donnie Adams says that they always are prepared for the storm to take a turn. In effect. And we have had several occasions where places like Seymour and stuff get more than the mountains get. It just really depends on how the it comes through. Jeff Reese has owned his cabin in Cosby for the last five years. While he says that he preps for the snow, he also looks forward to it. We have a very curvy road uh, up a mountain to get to it, so I'm ready to be snowed in and stay for a while. Those curvy roads are one of the highway department's biggest challenges when working in the mountains. It's hard to get to places, and then also you'll have people out not realizing it was going to snow or they just want to get out and look at it and then they end up blocking the road when they get stuck and we can't get through. So they're asking people to stay a little bit extra vigilant when on a slippery road this season. Yeah, if you see one of our trucks on the road, just please give them plenty of room. Uh, they can't stop because obviously they're a lot bigger and plus it's slick. Now this, the 2,500 tons of salt that the county has ready only ran out once. It was back in 2012. Adams told me that they had 30 consecutive days of salting roads. They're hoping this year is not that busy, guys. <laughs> that is a stretch for sure. <laughs> All right, Ryan, thank you. And you can